welcome to these midday mentors from APMG International. My name is Chiara, Chiara Mainolfi. Our guest today is uh, Richard Farro. Welcome, Richard. Thank you. Hello, Chiara, and uh, thank you for inviting me to, um, to be one of the speakers on the Midday Mentor. Richard is the CEO and founder of APMG International. Well, I have a few questions for you, Richard, if you allow. I certainly allow it. Go ahead. Uh, Richard, as you know, we are now a few weeks or even a few months uh, into this COVID-19 pandemic. Uh, what should, uh, according to you, organizations and professionals uh, be doing now, right now to be ready after this crisis is behind us? I think that's, uh, that's a very difficult question because I think there's, there's, um, there's two points for me. One is that different countries have addressed the, uh, the problem we're dealing with the crisis in different ways. And at the moment, nobody really knows what was the right solution. And indeed, nobody knows you know, when, um, when they will be able to bring their countries out of the crisis. And some people are saying it could be as long as 12 months. Other people are already lifting the restrictions in Europe. I think secondly, the you know, some companies are doing quite well. You know, so some companies, some organizations are seeing their business grow. Everyone is still in full employment, whereas many other organizations have seen their businesses slow down and stop. And people are either being laid off or people are being furloughed in the UK. And I was surprised the other day to see in America there's now over 21 million people unemployed in the last three to four weeks because of uh, COVID-19. So I think the one thing that all organizations, all professionals can do is to recognize the challenge and help their organization, their company get through this pandemic so they are able to you know, move forward whenever the end is in sight. And I think that that's quite a key thing. So you know, within APMG, what we have done is we're now really focusing our core activities. And we have a very experienced core team from around the world working in the business, continuing to work in the business, working with our clients, working with our partners. And we're seeing that um, we're becoming more innovative. We're becoming more agile. Um, people are more collaborative, people are sharing ideas and truly working together to see how we can come through this, this process, through this challenge. The, the other thing that we have done is to increase our communication, to make sure both our partners, our clients, our customers are all aware of what's going on and to be as transparent and as open as possible in those communications. We have now launched um, an online training platform for some of our training companies that um, didn't have the capability to do them themselves. Many of those organizations we saw in the first two to three weeks of the crisis move their business from being classroom focused to online. So we've seen a huge amount of innovation in the last four weeks, probably more innovation in the last four weeks than we would have seen in maybe the last couple of years. And I think this is what every organization, every professional within any organization needs to be looking at. How do they become more agile? How do they become more innovative? How do they support their company coming through this crisis? Because the way we will come through this crisis is to work as a community. You know, together, I think we can solve the problem, but uh, we can only solve it together. 